So this here is my DIY water flow regulator uh, for a turbo T500 still. Um, so basically what it is, you've got the hose coming in, you've got a float valve, when the water gets low enough, it lets water in. Um, and then you've got a fish pond pump that's pumping water up into my needle valve, which then goes along into my T500 still, and then out the hot water outlet. Um, don't worry about this chain, this is just to stop the, try and hold a bit of flex in it because it's leaking in here and I need to use it today and I haven't worked out how to stop that leak. And this is the first time I've tried to use it. So once I use it and I work out a way to patch that leak, then I'll get rid of that chain um, and pop the lid on. That's just to allow any leaks to go back into the tub so it doesn't have a big pool of water. Um, yeah, so basically I looked at the Still Spirits one online and saw it was like 120 Australian dollars. I'm not spending that much coin, so I jumped onto eBay, found a pump that pumps up two meters in height. Um, but I think that was about 20 bucks. Float valve was about six, so 26. Um, tub from Bunnings, 10, 36. And this little adapter here that I got from Bunnings was 15, so around about 50 Australian dollars. And you can build yourself one, nice and simple. All it is is a matter of drilling out your your hole for your float valve. I think it was half inch, um, and screwing it in. And it's as simple as that, guys. Um, no need to buy the 120 dollar one when you can easily DIY yourself. So the purpose of this, if you don't know, is when you flush the toilet, have a shower, use a washing machine, dishwasher, whatever. The T500 relies on the water pressure coming from the tap. But when you use those things, your pressure drops, which means there's a drop in water flow, which then means your temperature goes sky high and it's very violent. Um, so this was designed, my missus was starting to get a bit upset because I was telling her, don't use that while I'm boiling the still. So I needed to research and found out this would work. So then um, kids can still have a shower, washing machine can go, dishwasher can go, there you go. Um, it was not that, and it won't affect the water pressure because the pump is what's pressuring the, the T500. So you can see here, the water level's already dropping enough for the float valve to kick in and put a bit of water into it. Uh, yeah, nice, nice and simple project. Um, had it done within a couple of hours. It's just a matter of having all the parts handy. So I hope that helps.